Are um, you ready for this? I'm so ready. I just ordered Silly Putty to take a clone of my nuts so I can wrap around my head so I can then strangle myself and almost pass out and then I'll have a euphoric state where I can enjoy this game even more because we're back together. <laughs> oh sh What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Welcome back to Royal Goose. It's only been even longer than the last time. I was just reviewing an episode that uh, James was editing of our Smash Bros, and I started off like, "Hey guys, it's been so long." This time, it's actually been like the longest it's ever been. Three months. Three months since something like that. It was summertime, and we were busy. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> shout out to Narok. Narok was in my stream the other day, just to give you an idea of when we were recording this. Uh, I think that was like a week ago, actually. Yeah, like one week ago from today. And he's like, what happened to Royal Goops? Is it over? And I was like, no, we've just been really busy and taking a break right now, so. We, 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 contrary to popular belief, we do have other things going on in our lives, aside from Royal Goose. At least that's why I tell James, so he leaves me alone when I, <laughs> if I told him I was living it out of a trash can in the back alley. <laughs> But yeah, here we are. We are here, we are here to play. Um, Can you name it ass? Uh, absolutely. Hell yeah. We're. Ooh. We're. Can we use a number? Oh, as. 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 All right. Shut the hell up, whatever. You Azzy. Mean. As. This is one of my all-time favorite games on the N64. It's not one of my all-time favorites, but I love this game. Yeah, no, we we both love this game growing up. So. On the N64. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the top ten, just because of nostalgia. Like, oh man, I love this game. I think we talked about this before, didn't we? Oh yeah, we, we we've talked about this game before, but uh, a yeah, planet no. of anguish and pain haunted by evil. <laughs> a dark place teeming with fierce monsters. <laughs> Resolution so low that we teach the number to those children in preschool. <laughs> one by everything. one. People to slay. I will say, um, so there there are a lot of different versions of this game uh, yeah. across. Mo they made a lot of versions of Rayman 2 for some reason. They're, really? I, th I think this was the first version of the game. But, oh. But then they they made a version for uh, the PlayStation One, which is the shittiest version, and I'll get mm. into that soon. Uh, then there's the Dreamcast version, which a lot of people say that version is the best oh. because um there are little there are little changes here and there like this opening cutscene has voice acting in yeah. that version uh huh uh, and uh the sound quality is better etc cetera, etc cetera. are they similar plot lines yeah like the the story is the same but there's like a, a couple extra cutscenes here and there okay and, different engine uh maybe yeah, I don't know the just it's overall a slightly better game from what I've heard but you know this is this is the version I got so uh yeah you know, fucking deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. The Admirable. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, it looks like it's off to the side. Maybe, actually, maybe you can fix that in post, but the game is actually on the TV off to the side of the screen. Just a heads up. <laughs> uh, I love the sound <laughs> effects in this game, seriously. Look at, the, look at those two-dimensional eyes on Glowbox. <laughs> No, we didn't want to 3D model his eyes. We just, you know, we're, we're just. I'm pretty sure when I played this, I couldn't read. Really? Oh. Yeah. Well, when did this game come out? Like 98, 99, something like that. Mm, okay, so it was 99. I could probably read a little bit. 98, maybe a little tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> I love the voices in this game. <laughs> Sounds like Sims. Yabba dabba doo. That's how they talk in The Sims? Sort of. I've still never played Sims, so... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I smuggle drugs in here! <laughs> what? I go down. So what was that actually? That was a silver lum. Uh, it, he he smuggled it in. Silver lum. Lee the fairy gave it to him to give it to Rayman. Gotcha, gotcha. And of course, uh, the pirates being a, a bunch of ding dongs. Oh, ding dong! The witch is dead. <laughs> they uh, decided to, you know, put this uh, exit right here that he can use. Yep. 
because they're James is playing, by the way. Yep, I'm playing this time. Hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, this is. I always was like. Yeah, dude. I, I think I was stuck in here a while in the beginning. I was really? Like, what do I do? <laughs> I was like six years old. <laughs> uh, What's up, my man? Who's so dog? Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna talk about Rayman 3 at some Dude, point. Dude, I feel like little kids are probably better at video games than when we were little kids. Because, like, kids have access to, um, like, uh, n not necessarily iPads, but, you know, uh, those those type of devices, tablets and... Smart devices. Yeah. I feel like four-year-olds are playing Fortnite and stuff. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that makes no sense. No wonder you like this sense. game. You're sliding right from the beginning. <laughs> Oh shit! That, that makes no logical sense why they would build a, a slide escape right next to their uh, number one prisoner. Maybe it was just an air duct. I. That I, would make sense, right? I, I Weren't there not, fans in there? I try not to think too hard about I it. I think that was an air duct. <laughs> uh, dude, so I, I didn't want to disrupt the flow of the. Uh, Cutscenes. Too much nostalgia here. Mm. Well, that looks like it's in 10 frames a second. Whoa. Uh, you know what other really, really famous game from the N64 era had a very different version on PlayStation? Oh, what's that? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh, yeah, well, because, like, yeah, like, the PlayStation 1, I believe, wasn't as powerful of a console, if I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Same with the PlayStation 2 versus the Xbox and even the GameCube. The GameCube was a stronger console than the PlayStation 2. Did you know that? Uh, I, I I believe that. And the only main reason was PlayStation 2 launched like a year before Xbox and GameCube. Well, GameCube was 2001, so. Yeah. So I guess PlayStation 2 was 2000. Yeah, and Xbox was 2002, if I'm not mistaken. So. Mm. Anyhow, I, all I know is that when Xbox came out, PlayStation 2 already had a ton of like smash hit games. Hmm. Yeah, PlayStation 2 was like one of the most successful consoles of all time. Like that thing, that, yeah. that baby was running for like a decade. Wasn't I think. it also a DVD player? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I, I never owned a PS2, so. I mean, that that's a pretty good reason to buy one. In 2000, like, when did HDTVs really become popular? Uh, like, 2005, 2006, yeah. something like that. That's what I was thinking. I think we got one when I was in fifth grade, 2005. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I always thought those dudes look weird. Oh, this guy right here? Hey, buddy, I'm a carrot with testicles for eyes. What's up, dog? Yeah, That's he... what happens when you don't go to the doctor. I, I forget his name, but the, his name's, uh... uh he, that, that guy's from the first Rayman game, actually. He, he's a boss. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a boss, and then you can actually ride on him in a, like, flying, oh. shooting, side-scrolling level. Dude. It's pretty cool. So this is just a little cameo appearance. I actually remembered something that I have to tell you off screen, so just remind me that there's something that I have to tell you later. Okay. After this episode. It'll blow your mind. I'm okay. sorry, audience members. You, wow. you won't be privy to this. Dude, okay, you're an artist. Yes. Uh, you, you went to school for drawing stuff? I took film classes. Film classes, yeah. Uh, dog, I learned about how they make, like, water water textures and what was it obfuscation maps or something Dif diffusion maps uh -huh. i watched some video about how they did it in um super mario galaxy no oh okay. this guy recreated one of the levels in the beginning where they had all this like running water and it's basically just a very plain texture of the water but then they have this weird like diffusion map that runs over it that mm. makes it look really weird do you ever do anything like that no i i don't think i ever did anything like that I, I didn't do game stuff and very much game stuff back in college, but oh, okay. But it's I, I get what you're saying. It, it's like a it's like an illusion to make it look like the water's running. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, dude. That's one thing. I've always kind of wanted to make a video game, mm -hmm. but the art is the hardest part for me. I'm like, I can't draw. I'm not good at like. I, I would not be good at designing a level, dude. I've been reading. Um, I've been finally finishing up the Fellowship of the Ring, which I was telling you about. Oh yeah, yeah, you were you were reading that right before I got here today. Like, oh my god, the book. It, it will just describe what like some mound of dirt looks like for half <laughs> half a page. It will be like, 
Uh, Who the fuck cares? Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm trying so, they, like, because Tolkien is, you know, obviously putting a lot of effort here to to show what it looks like. I'm really trying to picture it in my head, but there's just too many fucking details for me to, like, draw a vivid picture in my head. I'm like, okay, there's a, there's a flower here, and it looks like a star, and it's purple, and then to the left of that, there's, like, a pine tree, and then there's a conifer tree, and what the fuck is a conifer tree? I have like, never heard of that before. Yeah, dude. Um... So I'm just trying to like keep track of it in my mind. Wow, we're already here in the game? Yeah, dude. For I, some reason, I felt like this took me forever when I was going to get even this far. Well, I actually got stuck at this cliff part right oh, here. Really? I, I just sucked at like, reading the instructions that Murphy was giving me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what do I do? I, I press A over and over and over. Why isn't it working? <laughs> ah. right, here, here comes another cutscene. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, these dudes. The Jinjos! Splendid, Raymond. I'm king of the kisses. I congratulate you on your courage. Yeah, there are teensies, but I'm a teensy. <laughs> I love these voices. These are very Banjo Kazooie ish voices, which is yeah. like. <laughs> like I just said, they look like Jinjos. It sounds like an alien in the bumper car level in Banjo Tooie. Yeah, kinda, sorta. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> okay, my my biggest complaint with the PlayStation One version of this game, mm -hmm. uh, amongst others, one of the biggest ones is uh, the voice acting. Mm -hmm. It's it's terrible. Okay, it's so wooden and just it's like a Lee when like they they she she mispronounces Rayman's name all the time. She says Rayman. Look what the pirates have done to the world. And this is just like no passion in her voice <laughs> at all. And so, early voice acting's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. Some of it's really, some of it's really good. Like Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. But then there's crap like Rayman Two on PlayStation One, where it's like just ugh, awful. All right. Nice. How was that? Jerk, jerk. Slurp, slurp. Come save me, Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> Come on over here, Raymond. Everybody loves Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Into the butthole. <laughs> All right, next time on Royal Goose, we're going to see where we went in the butthole. Ha ha ha, I love this game. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>